Okay, this is just a quick tutorial on how to use GIMP to create some text effects. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, bring up some text and uh, pop that onto my white canvas. Um, I'm just going to use the word GIMP. Highlight it and um, just make sure that the text color is correct. I'm just going to turn it to black for now and then increase it. So that it's nice and visible, um, not too much obviously. Right, um, just going to find a, a fairly decent font. Um, I think I'm just going to use Babas for now. Um, it's a little bit smaller. Once I've picked it, so I'm just going to make it okay about that size and click off. Right, I'm just going to bring it just towards central, central of, the, uh, of the canvas so I can work on it. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a metallic effect to it. So the first thing I do is just go to layer, transparency, <coughs> and alpha to selection. And that will just select the whole, um, all of the text. Um, now, if I hit gradient and hit this third tab here, it should give me a list of different um, gradients I can put through it. So I think I'm right in thinking there's a brushed aluminium, which there is, and all I'm going to do is just pull that down and put a metallic um, gradient through it. Right, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new layer. I just want to put a, a darker background behind this particular layer so that it looks a little bit more pronounced. So just create a new layer here down in the bottom left hand corner and uh, I'm not going to even give it a new name. Um, now what that will mean is that this selection that's, that, that was created to put the effect over the original uh, this, this, this gimp layer at the bottom um, is this is still selected. Um, what I will do is just make it slightly bigger so that you can see the background. So I'm just going to go to select and grow and uh, I'm just going to increase it by 5 pixels and as you'll see now the selection is, is out, offset by 5 pixels. Um, I'm going to pick a, uh, well actually that's perfect, uh, just six sixes um, for a background so it's just a slightly darker grey against the aluminium and I'm just going to paint bucket it right. Now as you'll see that the, the aluminium layer has disappeared so I'm just going to select the uh, first layer that I worked on and pull it to the top so you can see it. Now. That's a fairly sort of uh, plain graphic, so I'm just going to put a, a little shadow on it by going to filters, light and shadow, and drop shadow. Um, I've set the uh, shadow um, preferences to 4 for X, uh, 4 for Y, and a blur radius of 8, and I've kept the colour to black. Um, that will then drop a shadow onto that. Um, other little effects that you could you can do is... Um, that we can select um, the the top layer by going to layer transparency and alpha to selection and create a new layer. And what I can actually do is put an, a, a white gloss over the top of it so it looks even shinier. So I'm just going to go to OK. So now I've got this new layer that with that selected. Um, hit the gradient tool and rather than pick the brush aluminium, um, I'm just going to go to foreground to transparent so um, it's grey at the moment so if I just flip that over it's now to white and I'm just going to pull that down to about midway so that you've got that kind of gloss over it but we're not quite finished there I'm going to take the oval selection and I'm just going to pull that over the top of it and go to edit and cut delete the um, that particular top layer get rid of the selection and go to edit and paste as new layer. Now what will happen is that will actually come up to the top so I'm just going to get that, pull that down and just position it nicely over the top so that it's in place. Now at the moment you can't really see it because it's still because the top of the, the, the aluminium is still quite um, light so what I would do is just go to filters, light shadow and drop shadow and just add another shadow to it will give it a slightly more kind of pronounced uh, image. I'm just going to then merge that down so that it's in place and I've got essentially 
start of a fairly sort of um, decent graphic. Um, I'm going to just add one little fancy touch to it, and all I'm going to do is just go to the the bottom layer, which is that background, and I'm going to do something a little bit different. And I'm going to go to Alpha to Logo, and I'm going to go to Alien Glow. Um, the colour that I've chosen is uh, a light blue, so it's 00 CCFF, and I'm just going to go OK, and what that will do is just give the whole text a bit of a glow and give it a black background which I think looks quite cool so I'm just going to go to OK and as you can see the background is now just inserted the glow is now rendering and uh, we should get something that looks quite decent so it's just taking a little while to go don't be too concerned if it's taking a bit of time but just to be dependent on how quick your computer is um, and that is just coming to the end And there we are. So um, you could use obviously any word that you want if you want to create some branding or just a graphic for a flyer or something like that. But that's how a little uh, a little text effect um, using GIMP.